Hello again guys, another little video for you, some historical exploration. I'm joined by In The Van Exploring, so it's Alfie and his granddad again. Their camper van's just over, over there and we're in Baldsey at the Debon Ferry. So Felixstowe Ferry is just over there on the Suffolk coast. As you can see, it's an absolutely lovely day today. The weather is so, so nice. Um, Saturday, so it's a bit busy out. A little quick video. We're going to be exploring some of the stuff around Baldsey Manor. And I think it's a receiver transmitter emergency bunker hidden in the woods over there. There is tons of stuff here. Uh, of course, Baldsey Manor was taken over by the military in World War II and Sir Robert Watson Watt helped pioneer and invent radar here as well of course as well as at Orford Ness so yeah tons more history to tell you about Alfie's on his way now so yeah let's get exploring Okay, so I think we've reached the bunker here and uh say Alfie's been here a couple of times before so he sort of knows more about it than me. Jump down here. And uh oh, nearly. So I think there's scientists somewhere. So there's a visitors book here as well. So go on, what that's is my pen, I left that there. That's your pen. So go on, what is this uh this little building? Well, all around here was developed um, identification friend or foe to um, identify enemy planes from, obviously, ours. So here's like an observation bit. And I've seen photos. There's another one like this, it might be that, but there was like a gun mount there. All I don't right. know if that's this one. But yeah, it's just a little shelter with a fortified concrete roof. This is not bad. Yeah. So, so yeah. Potential wild camp spot. <laughs> Always on the nice lookout. Actually. It's not great bad. View. Yeah, decent yeah. view looking out to sea there. But li we're literally here at the bunker. So, so this is the bunker. So what is this bunker called again? Um, a receiver buried reserve in case um, the receivers failed to do with the radar. Um, this would have worked in a war situation in case so they got bombed out, for example. Yeah, so it's like an emergency sort of backup, like a plan B yeah. sort of thing. So, right. And then I think the other side of this fence here is the air vent, did you say? Uh, yeah, that's one of the air vents. So, one of the air vents. And those hatches. Through there. And there would have been a tower attached to these four yeah, concrete yeah. bases there. Oh, sorry. No, it's alright, no, 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 I'm filming so <laughs> I don't know anything about this, so I need all the info I can get. <laughs> if you look here, oh, yeah, go on. Main entrance, main hatches. But okay, that's those that. are sealed, and the stairway is pretty rusty. Yeah. But there's an um, emergency escape exit just off. Right. So these are all air vents for it. Okay. <clears throat> Yes. So, so what's what? So there's there's a dry one further on. I think All we right. should do that first. Yeah. Because it's out of the way. Go for it. And then do this on the way back. That's the better one. This is the. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I'll go wherever you're doing. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. There's, Definitely. There's, there's two like this. All right. But so this is a mask a mask base for the identification friend or foe radar thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then, so we're going to go to this one that's dry. We don't need the waders on first, and then there's the 
that one there is, is better, but... But it needs I, waders. What I mean is, if, if they don't want us on there, because I think this is... It, well, we've gone for a... It. Yeah, we've gone for a hole in the fence that tends to be <laughs> private property. <laughs> but that's fine, yeah. We're used to that on Tom Outdoors. That, guys, I believe. <laughs> I believe we're at this, this uh, bunker. This does look pretty cool. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. So we've got In The Van Exploring Alfie to thank for this. Finding all these sites, so... I will throw him a link, or throw you a link, sorry, to uh, to his channel to check it out. Look at this. Wow. There's loads here. Looks like an air vent over there. Blimey. I think I can see the hatches over there where they're walking towards. Got your, got your torch, you're looking there. Yeah, I'll grab mine right, we're at the access shaft now, I'm being told. And, uh, oh. and yeah, you can see down into and, there. And then it goes down again, but if you look to the right. That's where we see it. That's yeah, see. The door right in the bottom right in the corner. Yeah, and then this is a bigger entrance here where they would have lowered equipment down apparently, so pretty cool. Yeah, I've just been informed we're not going to be going down this way but we'll be going in here that is really dangerous down there the steps have collapsed it goes really really deep underground I'm talking I don't know there was like another hole going down at the bottom of this hole so <laughs> deep so yeah there's another way in apparently so Ooh, that's what we're going to go and look for now I think this is it actually. So currently under us there's an escape tunnel and then another ladder at the end of the escape tunnel goes down so this is right. only halfway down where we're looking now. Right and that's, that's where we're back. going down there. We'll keep away because if there's a brick come down you've hit it you know. Mm. Once you get in there safe. Well that's what we've done. Yeah, going down this. Not clean on this one. Don't touch them bricks from your left way. Right, welcome back guys, I'm down the uh, the ladder, the bricks in this entrance shaft are a little bit unstable so we've got to stay away from them, we're, we're under here now, this is pretty cool, ah. underground receiver bunker in case the two receivers for the um, radar station failed, basically, wow, So we've got another ladder down here. You wait until you see this the next one. It's got all the original paintwork and things. Wow. This has been stripped. Um, the other one's got all um, switches and stuff still left. This is uh, Tom coming down. Bit of a um, curve. Pass it to you, shall I? Cheers. Oh, just come down that. This is cool. Wow. Okay, so you were currently standing in the transmitter room. This transmitter has got really hot, so it's got this extractor. Like extractor thing, yeah. yeah. Wow. Someone's been down here, a couple of chairs. Don't know about that one, that doesn't look too clever. So we've got all air vents, they go on the bottom, so I don't understand why they're so far away, probably for bomb, bomb here, I don't know. It's an original candle there. Wow. Part of me really wants to light it. <laughs> and then, in here. Yeah, that's a chemical toilet. Would have been a chemical toilet in here, I'm told. Nice. Still got the same smell. <laughs> original green. Woodwork, paintwork. And this is why we, so there would have been doors here. Yeah. But that's all gone now. Um, and then you've got the airlock doors. If you look here. Yeah. So a little one um, speaker, I think. Yeah, look, speaker. If you look around the other side, it's easier to see. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you can just about sit, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so it would have locked people out and anyone coming in, they could see who was 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then these are those really, really dodgy <laughs> stairs. Can you see why we didn't go down there? This is why we didn't go down that other way, guys. I'll just quickly pan you up here. Just give it a pose in this doorway. Oh, oh, up there. Green doors here, like almost blast doors with a speaker through there. I'll show you on this side. There it is, look at that. So this is all World War Two. Yeah. And this dodgy staircase. And then this other room here. Um, air filtration room. Air filtration room, I'm told. So this is something to do with that, I guess. Look at that. There's another door with a speaker on the other side of it so they could the other side's better like a few ones yeah but look at that it's brilliant yeah original green paint as well that is cool This is cool, so where we come down was actually the escape hatch, or the escape shaft. Um, the main entrance down here, I'll, sort of, I'll just point it out to you again, was through these big like glass doors or airlock doors. There's this big staircase that's collapsed. That's the main entrance into the bunker. And then above us, there's a big hatchway, and that's where they would have lowered the equipment down and stuff, bigger items. And then, showing you this already, but yeah, in there's the air filtration room. It's pretty cool. A lot of original green paint on the doors, original candles, and you've got these little, little speakers on the doors as well. Um, so you could talk through the doors when they had to close them. But yeah. Someone's been in here painting and stuff. Um, doing some work, but they've clearly stripped it all out and gutted it. Whereas apparently the other bunker um, that we're gonna visit, which is literally just through the trees, that is more complete, but it is flooded, so we've got waders. Enough. Probably get a better one at B and Q. Right, uh, I think we're heading back out now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So onto the other bunker, okay. Onto the other bunker. Right, we were just about to climb back out until I spotted these, and we reckon these are original signs. So you've got OCA admin. Not bad. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, well done for spotting that. Yeah, not every day, not every moment, anyway. <laughs> right. See your top side. Okay, welcome back guys. We've come out to the second bunker, the receiver bunker. This is the main entrance again, so similar to the other one. Can't squeeze through there, of course. Someone's tried to get through there. That would be the equipment loading hatch. That's the personnel hatch. We're gonna go down the escape tunnel hatch again. And this time we need waders because Apparently it's partially flooded. Right, don't laugh. I've got me waders on. Looks like I'm going fishing with this hat and this beard. <laughs> Got some blue gill, some tarmac cards. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm not going to lie though, I've got a bloody wedgie from them. They're killing me. Anyways, but yeah, kindly lent to me by Alfie, so cheers. Right, we're going to try and get the, uh, the emergency uh, escape shaft hatch open and hopefully get inside this thing at the butchers. I think I'll see how deep it is. Could be six foot. This is Tom going down. There's nothing breakable in that backpack. Didn't 
tell you I don't like spiders. Yeah. Cool, you ought to be where we would. Okay. I've uh, climbed down the ladder as you just saw. There's a lot of big spiders in here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm keeping my hood up. Right. And, uh, let's get some light on the situation. So, it still looks flooded in here. Uh, Alfie's just coming down the ladder now. Might better make some room. Oh yeah, that's quite flooded. Uh, so, let's see if you can see. Wow, look at all of this. Yeah, definitely waders for this one. Ah, there's um over there there's some like symbols on the wall. Candice will know what they are. All to do with like devil worshipping satanic symbols and stuff. Sorry? It feels really weird being immersed in water that's Welcome back everyone. So we're in the main room now as you can see this is up above normal welly height and you've got yeah original lights, World War II all of this. How cool is that? Original green paint. There's Alfie. Hello. And Emergency lighting. Now this is cool. Look at that. Open up, open up. Can you open it up? Probably like a massive spider in here or something. Ah, there we go. Look at that. World War Two. Oh, I'm experiencing technical difficulties. Original lighting, and yeah, I have to admit, this is the thing that has interested me the most <laughs> since I got down here is all of these uh, symbols on the walls. So, Candice is our resident expert, so no doubt she's going to comment on this and she'll tell you what they're all about. I'm still walking around thinking that I've got to be careful of the, the, the depth of the water, but I haven't. I mean, these are like chest waders, and then look, there's like planets and stuff. And look at this. There's something slightly creepy about all of that. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't know what people have done that. Now, my my other half's like pagan and into witchcraft and stuff, and she used to be a witch. <laughs> Seriously, straight up, yeah. She'll be able to tell you what they all mean. Yeah. I ain't got Scooby. Anyways, ah, this looks cool. Original light fitting. Look at that. Right, someone needs to put some money in the meter. Then let's go into this room. We've got another one. That is the restroom. The um, transmitter doesn't have that. Okay, ooh. Well, he fell over there. Uh, look at these old original doors. Sorry? Wow. Yep. Uh, throw some light on it for you. Hello. This is so cool. Look at that. Flick the switch. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Imagine if the lights turned on. They all come on, yeah. <laughs> Hello? So no, notice how um, on your left is a normal wooden door. Don't touch it because it's fragile. 
this wooden door here, yeah, there's an, a wooden door here, and then you've got the big blast doors, like the, sorry, the airlock doors. Yeah, as, if, you, if you look carefully, you can see the speakers. Yeah, you can see this, I'll show those in a second. So this is, this would have been the toilet again. Another original light fitting. And this lovely green paint. Another light switch there. I'm just amazed by these light switches, they're cool. There's the little speaker as well, so you could talk through the through the door when they were locked. Yeah, the Okay, there's the speaker again, and then there's the stairs going up to the main entrance and then that's your equipment hatch there to lower stuff down into. All mod cons. <laughs> this staircase looks in slightly better condition but of course you can't get in this way so but yeah pretty much same sort of design as the other one. And oh that's a little dead mouse or rat floating in the water there. Lovely. Just got some water on my hand, I'm going to have to wash my hands <laughs> when I get out. And uh, yeah, see all like the original wiring and light switches, fittings. Look at this door. IKS. <laughs> well, it's got a good channel, very good channel. Sort of thing you'd like. This is amazing. I'm trying to avoid that dead rat that's floating around somewhere. There's all sorts of stuff floating under the surface. I can see stuff and I've no idea what it is, but I'll give anyone a hundred quid to drink a bit of this water. Oh, look. Frogs, look, or are they toads? Look at this one flowing. Bom, 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 bom. Hang on a minute, there's frogs. Look at this geezer. That's a cracking pair of legs on him. Go on, mate. I think he's trying to do a breaststroke. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Usually most wildlife manages to escape, but I've managed to get this on camera. Yes. Hello, mate. Next of them. Yeah, I've just watched the frog swimming. Oh, there's little bones in here. There's... Ugh. Is that down there? That is so grim. <laughs> one look at that. Ah, oh, there's more frogs. There's another one there. Just there. Wow. So he was thinking about this is going to be a history video, Tom, and you get a bloody nature documentary. Anyway, so right, let's leave the frogs alone. Oh, here's the rat. The rat's floated outside. Not good. Right. Yeah, here he is. Look at this absolute chap. It's got really long legs. Wow. It's quite elegant. And to think the French eat them. Bastards. Quite cute. I have eaten a frog once, it was at Cubs though, years ago. Look at him go, look. He's not bothered at all by me. Freddy the frog.
Right, we've had a little look around and we're going to head back up to the surface now. Yeah. We'll see you up top. So yeah, as you can see, we're now back out on the surface and we're down the beach again here at Ballsey with the waves. I think the tide might be coming in. So yeah, that was a look at the two bunkers there. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, cheers to Alfie and his granddad again for uh, showing us around them. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that little video and you'll see us again soon. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye.